Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and the second video in our series on five alternative reasons to use the COUNTIF function and in this video we look at how to uniquely rank items within a range so I have this list of pretend salespeople and we have the number of points that have accumulated at, let's say this month and we have some kind of ranking to see their, their kind of performance and we should maybe sort the list by that ranking and stuff like that now two of the salespeople have performed equally well both with 30 points there so therefore have the same rank of three now maybe that's fair because they did perform the same so they both share rank three but that means that rank four has been skipped because two people are at three now that may not be a bad thing but if we're looking at creating league tables and stuff off the back of this then the fact that it's not a unique rank could cause a problem and this is a skill that I talk about and go through quite thoroughly on our sports league tables course but obviously finding unique ranking and checking performance is quite a key uh, skill that we need but let's look at how we can use the count if function to do it here now in cell D2 let me zoom in maybe a couple of steps on that I'm going to put equals and select the current rank of that salesperson which is C2 in this case and I'm going to add on that and then bring in the count if function so the count if function will ask for the range uh, where kind of testing and then the criteria to look for within there so it knows what to count now for the range that is going to be C2 from a fixed C2 and a colon and a relative reference whoops let's tidy that up a bit to C2 comma the criteria will also be C2 so I'm saying can you count the occurrences of the current rank within the range from C2 up to this point and I'll go through this again once it's on the board and this may make a little bit more sense for now I'll put a closing bracket after that and then minus one and let's see how this works if I press enter to confirm and copy that down it provides that unique rank for you know, what is Celine Dion there with the, the equal pairing after Paul McCartney and the way this works if I look at the formula for Celine Dion's there for to make a bit more sense it looks at her current rank and adds on top how many times her rank has appeared up to this point so it's the second time we minus one from that second so really that becomes one now and it ends up being C7 plus one which is why it ends up at four but it creates a new unique rank and if indeed LL Cool J also got 30 points and was ranked in three so if I maybe was to change that now see how it updates itself and that would become rank five so even though there's three ranked in that we get a unique ranking because it's always working up to this current point and minusing one from it so that's adding two on top really because by now it's occurred three times and it works to create a basic unique rank uh, from the data we have and that is how we can use the count if function for uniquely ranking items in a range I hope you find that video useful please check out the other videos in this series in the next one we'll look at how to compare two lists using count if so you can check that out there's a link in the video uh, description below for that and please check out some of our other tips we have at our YouTube channel and at computergaga.com.